all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to design this very nice feature from chat gpt in which when you ask chat gpt for a question right you ask the question for an answer so when it's giving the answer it, is, it feels like someone is typing it right it gives one character at a time as you can see from here right which is very cool and very nice so how do you design this in python and then in javascript so let's see what i mean right as you as you're seeing here so if I go back again to my workspace, I have my string here. If I go with the normal print and I pass in my S, it prints everything at a time. But you want to have the feeling that like it is someone is typing it, right? One character at a time. So to do that, I just go with this simple function I have. And let's make it one. I have created a simple function. And my hands are up, as you can see. I'm not typing, but you can see that someone is actually typing and the character is being printed one at a time so how do you implement it right so it's very simple so the idea is that we are just using some very simple logic to help you get the same feeling that someone is typing so by default if i go with print right it just prints out but print has some other functions it has the value as applying a separator and then an end so this end is going to append the last value or a new line to the last value, right? There's file standard out, and then there is also a flash, which force whether it's going to forcibly flash the stream, right? So that either it goes this way or this way, right? Very nice. So let's see how to do use the same feature of print to do to achieve our task, right? Very cool. So as I said, print has some features. So if I go with my print s, so there's a new line here. So in case I don't want it, as you saw earlier on, I can just go with my end. Right. If I go with my end, I can now specify that, okay, this is my end. I want to change it from this one to no new line, right? This, and then if I go back, so there's no new line here. There was a new line here, but there's no new line here. I can also flush the entire stream by going with flush. And then I'm just going to specify what I want to do with this. So in this case, it's going to be this option here then true remember that the default is false right it comes straight away so this we have understood the purpose of the end and the purpose of the flash right okay so in the same way if i go back again and then for, let's say here i put in let's say plus or let's put in a different value so let's put in something like zero zero here it's going to append zero zero at the end see that now it has appended zero zero at the end right so that is the purpose of the end so we'll be using the same idea to to the printer but what makes it feel like it is going one card at a time is the for loop this flashing stuff and then the delay right so i'm just going to import time and going to loop through the entire stuff to for i in my string so let's give a simple example i'm going to give a simple example for so example one hello world then now i can just go with for i so it's going to be for i in the string we have I want to loop through the entire stuff so it prints i if i go with this option here i pass in my i right so now it goes straight like this right perfect it's going straight like this one card at a time in case i want to make it better this one give us once in case i want to make it better i can just go back with the end and add my new last line which is empty so let's make it empty Right, so it just went straight away without a new any new line. We're also going to specify the flash. It's going to be true. Perfect. Right. But where does the delay comes right? So to make the delay to make it feel like one character is being typed at a time, the, the for loop brings the character one at a time, but it goes straight away. And then the flash and the end makes it go the end gives a new line at the end and the flash makes it go like this so how do you actually uh, give the delay that someone is typing at the time so that's where we use time right so i'll just go back again to this thing that we had here then the same thing we did this time we're going to import time right which i've already give it a sleep and now let's print it so that now it is because of the sleep it is printing it one character at a time right that is very very cool so the magic comes from 
the for loop we are looping through the entire test and then we are printing it out flashing it and then we are also making it sleep for some time right you can also use pev.counter to make it more performant but this is simple right so if i go back again and then i make it like one two so now this is faster right very cool so that is how to do the same thing in case i want to print two characters at a time then in that case it's going to be the same thing that we had here right but we have to now loop through the entire stuff with range so range right we're going to loop through the entire stuff to so zero and then the length of the entire stuff we don't need to convert it to a string the length of the entire stuff and then we want to give the number that you want to loop through. So let's say we want to loop through it to two characters right okay so that is it so this and then from here we are going to append it so this value here is going to be the test that i have or the test that i'm supplying sample one then we are going to slice it so we are slicing the entire stuff which is going to be this option here right slicing it we're going to add one to it yeah sometimes my keyboard is weak, but my apologies so i'm just going to add my plus to this right plus another i and then from here we are going to add the number of it so this is going to be this option i plus the number of characters that we have which is two right so that is all so this is what is going to make the magic work right very cool so if i go back again and i close it here hopefully it works so what you are doing now looping through the entire stuff per the length of it it's ranging like the loop is going to be two right the step two i'm going to print it out one at a time hopefully it works and now it's giving it two characters at a time if i go back here and i change this one to let's say three and i change the one here to three and now three characters at a time right so that is one way one new feature can add to it so let's convert what you have done so far into a package so i'll go back again to my desktop i'm going to create a file called character at a time print dot pi maybe later in the feature we convert it to a package sublime and then we are going to build a package so we're going to call just dev type we are using the same thing that we have here just this file here this and i'm just going to go with def type what they're doing they're typing a test right and then it's going to take the test that you want to print which is going to be in the format of a string yeah so close this put everything here right perfect and then as we saw we also had a number of characters that we want to go out so number of characters and this is going to be a flute but let's give it yeah and then we had a delay it is also going to be a flute but we don't want the number of characters to be a flute we can't divide it <laughs> you can't slide by flute so we're just going to make it as integer we can also specify a default value for these values here we can also specify a default value here right so let's give it a default value of let's say yeah, one character and then the delay we can also give the delay of a default value of let's say of yes yeah, 0.2 right perfect that is all that we need so perfect so now we're going to say that okay now say for i in my range of the particular number that we have so zero this is going to always going to be the what's going to start with we have zero then the length of the string that we have and then the step which is going to be the number of characters close that we stop it and then we're going to print it out so we are using print remember that we are printing the entire test which we are slicing i are slicing the entire stuff plus the number of what we are doing right so we are slicing uh, back again i'm mm, going to do the same thing here so let's plus yeah 
See, the reason my mouse is behaving in this way is because of this, right? So let's fix it. Yeah, so as you could see, you are getting it here plus. So you are getting the entire stuff plus that particular number that we have, right? So the number is the number of characters. So plus the number of characters. Perfect. And then you move on to end. When you move on to end, we are going to do the same thing with my flash. Right. So the end and a flash, you have to make sure that the end is a particular value, right? The end is now going to be empty. Right, and the flash is going to be true. As you saw earlier on, that is all. Then you need to give it delay. So time dot sleep in the pass in my delay. So delay. Yeah, f apologies for it being very slow. Oh, my keyboard is misbehaving. <laughs> so with import. So this same thing we have done, we are using print and time. You can also use standard out to also do the same thing. In that case, it's going to be the same thing we have here, right? You can also use standard out, which is going to be this option here. This is, let's say, stream test. Let's call it a stream test. This time, we're not going to be using the number of characters. Yeah, you can also do the same thing, but let's make it very simple for everybody. So I'll just take this one off to make it simple. I'll take this one off to make it simple. And just another way, this method two so far in my strength of your is already test. Instead of using print, right, and flash, we are now going to use sys dot standard out. It's another way you can also do that, right? Dot right. I'm going to pass in the i value, then sys dot flash or standard out dot flash then we're going to specify that one also right so there's another way you can also do the same thing and we give the sleep so this is one way there's method number one very good method number two right perfect so that is one of the ways you can do it so thank you for watching the tutorial see you in the next session we have seen how to generate this simple feature with Python can also do the same thing with ChatGPT, right? So if I go back to ChatGPT and ask him to do the same thing, he'll give us the right function. So let's check it out. I've come back to ChatGPT and I'm going to tell ChatGPT, okay, can you convert this thing, right? Or how do you print one character at a time? So to see the same thing. So how do you print one character at a time in Python, right? If I go back, it's, good. it's doing the same thing, right? Let's check the result it's going to give to us. If it's almost similar to what we have, exactly, right? So character in string is given as the same thing. Yeah, so it's also given another alternative. So it's using just a for loop and a while loop, but that is not what I want. I want to print one character at a time, right? All in one line, so yeah. You also say, can you? convert this to Python to JavaScript so I'm going to paste in the code so so it's doing the same thing so type this number of characters so now this is converting the entire stuff into a uh, huh, let's see yeah so this is the JavaScript code for it right so now we can use this one and let it work, right? I'm not very sure what it's going to work, but yeah, we hope there's time out, there's delay. So that means that in a way it's going to work, right? So that is something very simple. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye. Oh, but one more thing before I go, let's chat GPT write a unit test for the function. So, so write a unit test with pi test for the following function. Right? So not this, that's not what I want. <laughs> that's not what I want. See, that's one of the things about ChatGPT. It's like you have to be very specific and be smart with your prompt engineering, right? 
the type of question you are giving otherwise it's going to give you a lot of things that is smart but it's not that smart right so you have to be very smart with your questions before it can give you the right answer so it's, it's doing the right thing here yeah, but it is just doing something that it's not the best so the second say i mean for this function below yeah so it's now it's now understanding it and now it's going to generate the right functions right well which is very good i did not even think of using this option here in case i was going to write a unit test for this now it's going to bring out the value perfect so now we can see that it's giving us some options which is good truncate six yeah so that is one of the ways you can also use to benefit yourself with chat gpt that's a very very powerful platform very very powerful system that we have now so now it's an assistant so thank you for watching